Hey everybody, welcome to The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. This is a comic book show where I grab books from my long box and then we compare them based on some kind of theme and determine which one's the good, which one's the bad, and which one is the ugly. This is a Justice League special because there's this movie coming out called Justice League. What? what? Yeah, I don't know if you've heard over the last uh, couple of years they've been working towards it, but now it's finally coming. And so as a result, I thought we'd take a look at some Justice League books from years past. Mm. We've got the Justice League of America from 1985 or 86. I don't remember. We got Extreme Justice Number Zero from 1995 and Justice League from 2016. Very, very different books yeah. uh, from many different uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. styles. So I guess we'll start off uh, with the Justice League of America. Um, Ethan, what happened at Justice League? Uh, well, uh, this book. <laughs> Starts off with a guy I've never seen before. No, who, Professor Ivo. Yeah, Professor Ivo, whose face is all messed up because <laughs> he messed his face up, and he's talking to a droid. Well, he doesn't. You don't know it's a droid. He's talking to a psychiatrist. Yes. Who's like, what are you doing? Like, you're acting crazy. He's like, no, the Justice League has to pay. He blames the Justice League for his face. His psychiatrist tries to tell him, no, it's it's your fault. You mm -hmm. did that to yourself, trying to make yourself live forever. That's his yes. thing, uh, I guess. And uh, he disagrees, and then he shuts him down. You find out, oh, he builds robots. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he built a psychiatrist for himself. It's so weird. <laughs> I guess he had the idea that he wanted to get better, but yeah. he's like, no, nah, I don't want to get better. No, I don't. I'm a super villain. <laughs> Maybe he thought that he's just like, no, he'll just tell me I'm fine. Yeah. Ah, oh, damn well, it. That's the thing, is that he yeah. says I'm insane. That can't be right. But see, that's just, this is a testament to his skill. Yeah. He built a yeah. real yeah. psychiatrist. Yeah, psychiatrist. Yeah, he's actually really good. He should have released the robot and let it help other people that were more willing to, you know, look for help. Yeah, yeah. So then he, uh, uh, well, I'm sorry. Then we cut to the Justice League's uh, headquarters, and these are Justice League people... Who most of whom I've never seen before in my life. Uh, we got Martian Manhunter, who's Yay! in charge, which makes sense because he's the only one I recognize. And then uh, uh, the Elongated Man. Yes. Um, Gypsy? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Vibe. 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 Uh, which is, this book should be called Vibe because it's basically about vibe. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then. I, I Vixen. Don't, Vixen. Mm -hmm. And who's this guy? It's, uh. Iron? Is he no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's something metal. Yeah, he keeps breaking things. So he he should breaks be called Smash. His name yeah. is, comes up later on when he, right before he it does. breaks the table. Yeah, yeah, it does. They say it. Here we go. Right, here we go. What is it? Steel. Steel. There you go. I was, I was off. Is he? The, he's the original Steel, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> the inspiration for the, inspiration. the John Henry Irons character. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so they're like smarting from some. Like battle in yes. a previous comic. If you've watched our sister show Back Issues, we did a special episode called Legends. This is right during the Legends event. The vibe is like the most down Upset. on the team and yeah. talking about how they're pathetic compared to the, you know, Batman and the real Justice League. Yes, yeah. the like, one that everyone pays to see. Yeah, and they're all very aware of how inadequate they are <laughs> compared to the real Justice League, which is kind of funny. John's kind of like, yeah, this did not work. No yeah, way. yeah. John is it's like too... thrilled to take this opportunity. It's funny though, because like he says, like, no, 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 we'll get back together as soon as he says it a couple times. Like, as soon, it's not forever. Yeah. But, Once the order is lifted, then we'll get back together. And you're like, oh. No, but then it's he friend forever. zones them. He's just yeah. like, but we can be friends. <laughs> yeah, we should go get yeah, lunch. Actually, we're great <laughs> friends, and I'm gonna. Be your friend over there. Yeah, yeah, with the real Justice League. But like, I'm gonna go hang out with Batman and them because they're gonna need someone to guard the base. And this, this guy. <laughs> I'd rather be guarding the base for than that Justice leading League, this Justice but League. leading this Justice League. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah, they they go their separate ways uh, temporarily. Temporarily. Yes. Tempor yeah. Just oh, yeah. just until the just the until lifted. the fourth part of right. the story, um, and then you never see them again. <laughs> So Steel smashes the table before he leaves. Uh, the two girls go, I guess they live together? Yeah, they're roommates they, or something. Yeah, and they invite... Uh, yeah. Because this Justice League doesn't have like a place they hang out together. I mean, they have a, they have a headquarters, but they have to vacate because yeah. like, it's yeah. a superhero headquarters. And you're not allowed to, like, you have to go back to private life. Mm -hmm. That's superhero right. life. So, you like, what, they it. kept their apartments? Yeah. I guess... I well, some of them have secret identities. I'm like, stuff. I don't know if this Justice League thing is gonna work. Let's not stop. Like, <laughs> if stop I were Gypsy and I was invited to be the Justice League, I would definitely hang on to my apartment. Yeah, but she's a Gypsy. That's true. She, she's the one who doesn't have an apartment. <laughs> then we go back to 
Ivo? Ivo? Yeah, Professor Ivo. Yeah, yeah. and he reveals <laughs> to nobody, because he's talking to... There's literally nobody with him, and he's just talking. It's right. not in his head. No. It's just no. word balloons. I kind of assume he kind of has, like, almost the Gollum thing going on, because yeah. there's like a moment where he's just like, maybe I shouldn't do this. No, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, how many people are in there with you, Ivo? <laughs> well, so he's very solitary, and he's... Only surround right. himself with robots that he's built, so he's very yeah. used to talking to himself. I get himself. the idea, yeah, he's kind of a loner. Yeah. So he's like, well, who am I going to talk to if not myself? <laughs> so then he reveals his nefarious plan, which is that he's created these other robots, um, mm -hmm. androids, that I guess look like him when he was younger and yeah. didn't have a messed up monster face. Yeah. Mm. Um, who he thinks are, are super handsome. Yeah. Yeah, he compliments them constantly. And, and like, touches their faces. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So his master plan, his, his, his plan is to get back at the real Justice League by killing the fake Justice League because that'll be like killing their children kind, or something. Yeah. I get, that's why they were all there, you know, making sure that, you know, the team understood that they'd get back together and they weren't elsewhere not even knowing about, about this. what's going yeah. on. No. Yeah. yeah. He has a thing with children, too, because he considers the androids his children. And yeah. He's going to use yeah. his children to kill the children of, of the, the Justice, Justice League. League. But then he only gives, like, one of them a mission, mm -hmm. which is kind of weird. Like, he takes this one, he's like, ah, so I'm going to kill all the Justice League. With okay. one robot. Let's get this guy, and he's going to go on his mission. And then we see that, mm -hmm. because his target uh, is Vibe. And Vibe is walking around in South Bronx, mm -hmm. yep. I guess where he lives. And he's just he's just talking about like, ah, man, I, 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 I'm really messing up. Like, I don't know why I said those things. Like, they're right. Like, I'm a loudmouth and a whiner. He's real down on himself. It's not wrong, though. He's not wrong. <laughs> and then he runs into, like, a kid sitting on a stoop. And he says, oh, can I sit down? And he's like, yeah, sure. And he sees he's drawing a picture of Superman. He's like, ah, oh, of course. Why, <laughs> of course, Superman. Why do we want to draw pictures of Superman? He's not so great. He says, what are you talking about? Superman's the best. He's not uh, wrong. He's not wrong. Yeah, this is just all truths. Like, yeah. Just hard truths in this book. <laughs> the South Bronx. <laughs> and uh, then Vibe's like, you should like superheroes who are like you. Because he's Hispanic, and I guess... Yeah, and I guess Hispanic. the boys so as well. It's hard to tell from the drawing, but... Yeah, they only have four colors, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he's like, you should, you know, you, you should, like, look to your own, like, superheroes. He's like, like who? Like, like Vibe. Like Vibe! <laughs> he's self-promoting. <laughs> yeah. He's like, who the hell's Vibe? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, never heard of him, he says. He doesn't mm -hmm. know yeah. who Vibe yeah. is. Because, like, who has? Because nobody exactly. has. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. When was Vibe created? Around now. Okay. All right. How do you get on the Justice League immediately? The the real Justice League was not available. And the, the John this was is taking anybody. Like, do you have powers? <laughs> yeah, I got powers. You're in. Cool. Do you, you know what? I don't care if you know how to use it. It's like Jean took a page out of the Avengers handbook. Mm. Anyone? Done. <laughs> Ivo's android shows up and says, I'm here to kill you. Like, that's my mission. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I cannot fail, so I'm going to kill you. So they start fighting. And uh, this is where you see that Vibe has these, like, shockwave powers or something. It's, yeah. They don't really describe it, but it's, like, these waves that, like, come out of his head. Yeah. yeah, they vibrate. It's a vibe. It's a, yeah, vibrate. yeah, it's a vibe. Very good. And you get this fight, and they're just punching each other. And it's real weird, because, like, Vibe, like, loses his, like, confidence. Mm -hmm. As soon as he sees that he's a robot, he's like, he's not even a man. Like... How am I supposed to defeat this, like, See, robot? that's when he should be like, oh, man, I can go crazy yeah. on this guy. Yeah, like, I could just straight up murder him. Right. Like, I don't have to hold back. Yeah, like, I do I'm gonna go wins. full vibe on this bastard. No, he gets, like, scared. But then he's like, no, wait. Like, I have to, like, fight him and win because there's this kid here. And maybe he'll kill the kid if once he's done with me. So, like... I'm gonna be strong, and so he he you know he fights back real hard, even harder than before. Yes, that's right. And he uh, and he knocks out the uh, the android, and then the kid's like, "That's great! Like you did it! You're amazing! I'm gonna go tell everybody about you. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell all my friends what a great like hero, hero you are. And I'm gonna call the TV stations, and they're gonna make a cartoon. And, and I certainly want to deal with people going, "Who? Yeah. So I'm sorry. Who is he? Well, I'll draw a picture of him." Well, yeah. that's cute. A kid had a fantasy, an imaginative right. idea, yeah. made-up experience. Fake guy who doesn't exist. Because obviously, if the kid draws him, he's going to draw his terrible costume, and he's going right. to be like, "Well, naturally, there's no one dressed like that out there." Or he the won't remember world. it because he just met him. Yeah. yeah. What was his name? What's his name? Uh, uh, Rhythm. Yes, or... Yeah. <laughs> he's like really into like the popularity of superheroes. Like he wants to be popular. Yeah. It's yeah. very weird. Like he wants them to make toys of him and stuff. Because mm -hmm. that's like Superman has toys. Like people make toys of Superman. That's and how you Batman. become a hero. Yeah. yeah. That's how it's, you know. It's really weird. He wants validation. Yeah. He wants like the most superficial kind of validation. Yes. 
Uh, so, uh, then the kid runs off and the robot wakes up and chokes him. And he dies. But he chokes him hilariously. Yeah, but he chokes his, him because his hands come off. Because <laughs> he's all broken, you see. But his hands are still, like, independently working. Naturally. So they clamp around his neck and, and they choke him to death. And then he, like, does a weird thing where he puts his, like, hands over his face. And it goes, and And, like, he says he's going to leave his calling card. But I don't see anything. It's, oh, it's, it's the face. It's, it's Ivo's it's face. face. It's the young face. Oh, it changes it like his face. Yeah. See, there's like, I was looking for like a brand no, or something. No, you see like there's like a line here. It's oh, a little mask that okay. he puts on. He, like he secures it on there. I see. Mm-hmm. Because they all kind of look the same. So I guess the other nose is different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah. It doesn't help that like it didn't change his hair. No. no. His hair is like, exactly the same. Yeah. And they don't have any more colors. So his color is exactly the same. Yes. And the robot is like right there and like doesn't quite look like it because he's got stuff coming out of his yeah, face. He's yeah. different, so it doesn't you're looking really. Looking from one panel to the next, he looked totally different. So right, like... and, and Vibe totally made a liar out of this kid now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like this is unbelievable. I yeah, can't he's gonna be... bring the news crews and be like, "Look here, he... oh, yeah." <laughs> They're like, "Wow, kid, this is great. What a scoop!" Yeah, yeah. superhero like slaughtered in the street. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, he won. What? What would you say his name was again? Ah, oh. ah, oh. ooh. Vixen or Vino? There's something. I know it was a V. Uh, well, anyway, we well, can make anyway, something up and post. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah. And that, and that's it. That's, that's the end of the book. That's the end yeah. of the book. Wow. Yeah. Is Justice that League of America? So this is four parts. <laughs> yes. Do they? Does one of them die in each part? That's the idea. Is that each robot tries to kill another member, and in fact, like they they get the drop on uh, Gypsy, yeah. and they like in the robot like puts like kills her, and then puts his face on her face. Oh. But then it was an illusion that she cast, and so it wasn't really like, oh. so they could get to the bottom of it because they find vibe, vibe and he's vibe dead. He's dead. actually dead. He's but just... they also recognize the face. Okay. Well, Jean does because Jean's the only one who remembers who Professor Ivo is because right. he's the only one who's actually fought the guy. <laughs> But anyway, so yeah, but and then he dies. Like that's it. Oh, Vibe's dead. And then what's great about this is this is a four-part series in Justice League number two fifty-eight. Four issues later, that's it. There's no more Justice League of America comics. Books canceled. The next one up is Extreme Justice from nineteen ninety-five, which is written by Dan Vado with art by Mark Campos. Nice. This is a. Just a perfect example <laughs> of what the 90s had to offer. Yeah. First of all, it's extreme. Yep. Literally, it's called extreme. extreme. Yeah. Secondly, it's a zero issue, so it's immediately a gimmick. Yeah. Third, a little bit of a sheen on the cover. I'm amazed they didn't go for the extra coin and make it some kind of hologram or <laughs> embossed thing, but regardless, extreme justice, number zero, basically is just that there's a rogue dude from the government who's going to launch some nukes from Colorado. And then the D list of the Justice League who lets Superman die stop him. And yep. they all tense their muscles and grit their teeth and scream at, every, at everything around them. And make their feet as tiny as they can. <laughs> yeah, well, this is, who wants to look at that? And, uh, and when they defeat this guy, they then decide, uh, somebody asked them who they are. And then I believe uh, I believe Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle is the one Beetle, who yeah. says we're the Justice League, and I'm like, you, maybe you should slow down, Ted, because I don't know if you guys qualify. Even though technically they are the Justice League, like, yeah, these guys are pretty much it. Well, what do you mean technically? Like, who made them the Justice League? Well, Superman refused to join, and so they took up the reins. Like, oh. when Superman died, they were kind of what was left. And so yeah. They're the Justice League. Sure, sure. There Captain really is Adam no Justice League. Says like, we'll talk about that name. Yeah, yeah. Because well, Captain Adam is number like, one. They haven't government... established previously that they are the Justice League. No, even though everyone on this team was a member of the Justice League. Right. And the other thing is, it's the '90s, so the Justice League. I mean, like, look, only like a few short years before, this book was unsellable as the yeah. Justice League. Right. We got to do something different, something more bold, or something more yeah, extreme. We got to break more walls and be in positions that are physically impossible yes so uh 
while they're debating whether or not they are the Justice League, <laughs> Captain Adam is like, hey, over in Nevada, I know of a secret lair that we can make into our headquarters. So they go and try and move in, but there's awesome robots. Mm -hmm. And so they have to fight the awesome robots. Awesome, and then, like, really, like, nondescript, very hard to tell where one begins and one ends robots. Yes. Well, because, number one, <laughs> yeah. uh, the art in this is terrible. And number two, uh, they're just going to be scrapping a few panels anyway. Right, so, what so does it who even cares? Matter? And what? Why do I got to put all this effort into designing robots? I'm not here to draw robots. I'm here to draw women with huge boobs and men with tiny feet. So they destroy the robots, and then they're like going on a reconnoitering mission where they're gonna figure out like, like what's going this, on. This this room was supposed to be empty. I was gonna move in here. I was and gonna make squat it here. Yeah, and I was gonna else squat here. Squatted here first. What the hell? What the hell? So then, like, an old man gets a phone call from a clandestine organization uh, at the White House. In the and, White House, yeah. And and uh, and she's like, somebody's in our secret organization room. But it's not the she you'd think it is. No, it's not Amanda Waller. It's someone like... else. It's some other badass, large, older woman in charge that isn't <laughs> she's Amanda Waller. She's not really in charge. Like... Well, she's 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 in charge as much as she knows what's happening yeah. and she's making things happen mm -hmm. with, with but a phone call. Yeah. Uh, and then we find out that uh, Firestorm, uh, another member of uh, the Justice League, has cancer. And then that's Moving it. Moving on. <laughs> right? Like, isn't Firestorm in that book, too? Like, they mentioned him? Yeah, Firestorm had a building knocked on him, too. Yeah, but they yeah. mentioned that, and then he, like... He's not in there. Yeah. But, like, just in general, like, Firestorm, like, just... Just, like, just, just who cares? Maybe he works with Justice League stuff. Just yeah. Throw him on. Or not. Whatever. Like whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, that's that was their that was their policy. Mm -hmm. um, they also tease a awesome new villain that is connected to Captain Adam. But at the end of the day, who could possibly find the gumption to care? <laughs> what what I think yeah. I like the best about this book is just it's like Maxima just looks like a Jean Grey ripoff. Yeah. Yes. And Blue Beetle like it's clearly a someone ripoff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big time. Yeah. Clearly someone was following Todd McFarlane. Oh, yeah. Quite no. a bit. By the way, he's the coolest he's ever looked. He Until look he becomes an alien. Cool. I guess. I, I always love the Blue Beetle design. The old school design. No, I know. I, I like the design. Unfortunately, the artist just didn't know how to do anything. And yeah. there's like a moment where his wrist, I'm like, no, your wrist is broken. You broke it. <laughs> yeah. You, you broke your wrist. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's also hilarious. He has no powers, by the way. Yeah. yeah that's There's right. a scene where, they... where they're all like, all right, hit him with everything you got. And they're all shooting energy, and he's just. He's like. <laughs> well, there's they another. draw him just standing there, because, like, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? He's going to be like, ah! I think he might... Just yell at him. He's, like, yeah, kind of is. jumping. Yeah, like, yep. whoo! Like, you don't. What are you doing, though? Like, just yeah. get in the middle of them so you don't get hurt. Yeah. Well, what's great is there's a scene just like this in this book where they all fire their energy, and Batman's like, and Batman. Yeah. At least Batman throws something. Right? Yeah. What I like about this book is that these guys show up on the scene like they're a team. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, they're, they're we're a team. We're a team. They call themselves the Justice League. Captain Adam's like, I don't know if we can call ourselves that. And you know what? If we're going to stick together, we better go figure this whole thing out. I'm like, but... You just said you weren't sure. You just, you yeah. just, you, what you rolled up like you, you were a team. Yeah, yeah you've never had this conversation. No, we're a before. team. I just this don't is, know if we're the Justice League. This is, yeah. this is, or this is if we're a zero be issue. Something yeah. else. No, it literally it's, says, even though, like, if we're going to stick together, yeah. we better figure this out. I'm like, yeah. Well, so they they met each other somehow. Well, they uh, they've met through this. Like, what what preceded this? Where did this come from? Oh yeah. man, well, like Blue, you're, you're just thrown into the middle of a story. Oh, it's true. Yeah, well, but Blue Beetle not. and this Booster is zero. Gold. <laughs> yes, but Blue Beetle and Booster Gold are old friends. They used to be on the Justice League International, uh -huh. um, written by DiMatteis, who wrote this. Right. Uh, Maxima was an alien who's from like a sister planet of Krypton, and she was looking for a mate, and she showed up as like a Superman villain, more or less. Mm -hmm. Superman didn't sleep with her, so she had to get over it, and right. so she eventually just became like a kind of uber powerful, like Klingon esque character on the Justice League. Okay. Uh, when the Justice League was lame, when the Justice League International went away, then they became the Justice League, and so Maxima like de facto joined up with them because they needed someone who actually could like do anything like powerfully. Right. So. Ted, Booster, and Maxima are all former members of the Justice League when right. Superman died. Right. And Captain Adam's just like, yeah, me too. And when Will. Yeah, who's, what's... Whose superhero name I don't know and I've never seen before in my life. Like... But they all, like, it's great. They all refer to each other by their names, by their code names, except for Will here, who I don't know. <laughs> and Will. I love that Captain Adam's hair... Is also, like, shiny yeah, because, and like, my metal. understanding is, like, that's a suit that's containing the energy, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. So they made him 
hair? Well, they didn't want him to look like bald. No, that would be lame. They usually do like a crew cut. I'm not cut. bald though. Yeah, but <laughs> crew cut makes sense. Yeah, but it's the mid '90s, so yeah, he's everyone's got to have, gotta long have hair. longer hair. Well, that means that they had to like shape it. Yeah, they yeah. just sculpt this whole thing into the armor. Yeah. <laughs> Where did he come from? He's just a. He's actually just a captain in the U.S. military. How does he get his powers? By accident. Oh. And what are his powers? Uh, he is and made he of energy. Fly. He can absorb energy, and okay. he can uh, like redirect it, and so forth. Like Captain Adam is the inspiration for Doctor Manhattan. Oh. 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 Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Like, there, no. Look what we're doing. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, my favorite thing isn't even anything that has to do with character or dialogue. It has to do with their decision to make these panels. Where they're just jagged and sketchy drawn, yeah. so it just you can it conveys to you just how awesome this is. It's breaking not only conventions but also the page layout itself. Yeah, yeah it's also like impossible to follow. Oh yeah, like, I was not sure which order to read no, in on multiple pages. It's a real problem. It's a mess. And what's amazing is they're not trying anything special. They're not like breaking with convention or or trying to like give you a MC Escher ass experience. It's just that they're not all very good. And right. they just think it looks cool. Yeah, this just, is done for cool sake. And DC yep. is a little in trouble around this time, so they're like, just just do what those people over there are doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just anything. That's why they changed the that's why they're the that's why their team is extreme justice. Extreme justice. Yes. Yeah. Just horrible. Also and just a blight on the career of the Justice League. <laughs> These guys are literally, like, they pose the entire time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, they're posing for photos. They're posers. Well, because, well, because we know at DC Editorial that no one is going to buy these characters based on their name or their character or their lineage. So they have to be just cool looking. Yep. I guess. And also, everyone in the comic book reading world is superficial anyway. That's why they like all that Marvel stuff and all that image crap. Yep. So we'll yep. just give them garbage. But it's like they're la they're landing. They're safe. We're literally about to have a conversation. It has to be an extreme it's gotta landing. Be, no, they're, yeah, yeah. They're walking around. But, but she's standing like she's strutting. Yeah, yeah. it's like pa bam. I'm like now Max my Dubai strutting. She is very much uh, into herself. So what is he doing? He's just, well. He's all. He's like he's, a, he's just like that all the time. Yeah, he's always like just tense. He's always like, <laughs> yeah. So he's yelling and and just intensing his muscles. Yeah. So yeah, e extreme, extreme justice. Extreme justice. Number zero. Uh, extreme garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Tiffany, tell us what happened in Justice League Rebirth. Um, number okay. one. So uh, this is the newest of the comics that we have. Yes. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of fun. We had like completely different eras. We kind of skipped in between the 90s and 2016. Yeah, we went well. We went from the 80s to the 90s. We skipped that one decade between yes. the 2000s. Exactly. Because there's a we've we've done enough JLA on this channel. Right. Mm -hmm. So like this is actually probably the book that more people will know about. Oh yeah. Um, this honestly takes place um, at being a rebirth. Rebirth happens. Mm -hmm. um, it's the end of the New 52. And um, that comes up in this, in a sense. Yes. Um, because, uh, of course, the Superman that we now know in Rebirth is here, but he's keeping it on the down low. Mm -hmm. It's Clark Kent is like, yeah, no, I'm good. Yes. They had a Superman that didn't work out for them, but now I'm like, I'm family guy. I'm like, hey, yeah. we're going to do this. And Lois is like, yeah, that's not going to work. You being here all day, every day, is really <laughs> frustrating and cramping my style. I can't. <laughs> Here, look, I like this works between us because like I go and write things and have a career, and like you write things that aren't as good as what I write, but then you also save the world. Yeah, but you're also like you're Superman, but you've been like, you've been like thirty percent Superman and like seventy percent Clark Kent, and Clark Kent doesn't have a job, so <laughs> he's got to go out and do something. He's got to, he's got to, he's got to go. This is also between the time so where. It's, it's pre New 52 Superman before they rebirth retconned him. Yes. So he still thinks he's from the previous incarnation right. of Earth. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But then they, they changed and all of that. Lois, what's the deal with Lois? Lois and, and Superman are from Lois's? the. Lois's? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But like the, the other Lois will die as yeah, well. Yeah, she became Superwoman and died. Because like her powers poisoned her. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Um, that but that sucks. doesn't even come up in here. You don't even need to worry about that. Because, like, they literally, like, you know, we, we see, I guess, New York, because it's not Metropolis. No, they're in New York for some reason. Um, These are two Justice League books in New York, by the way. Yeah. 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 And um, the <laughs> Reaper has come, or the Reapers, and I'm not talking about the Overwatch character with two shotguns who then throws them away when he has to reload. No. Um, right. Or the Mass Effect Reapers. Right. <laughs> no. The giant bug Reaper who has all these like spore things that much like Starro takes over people and then 
pulls them in, presumably either to work or to feed them or, or what have you. Yeah, um, it's an extreme Starro. Right? Yeah. They so even mention Starro. They do mention Starro, which is why I was like, that's a really weird thing to, like, yeah. I already know this is similar to that. Don't tell me. Yeah, don't. <laughs> I already got that. I saw it. Yeah, it then, already is a ripoff. But like, then you gotta remind me. me. Yeah. Like, remember Starro? Yeah. The thing that this is totally ripping off? Yeah, yeah I, I remember. remember that. Yeah. That was, yeah. Were thanks. you checking? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I want you to know that I'm aware, okay? I'm putting the reference think, Starro in okay. here. We get well, it. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. And for me, this is the best art part of the art in this book. Bingo. This that person page? knows how to draw a bug bugs thing. and monsters. Yeah. Faces. Well, not so much. Yeah. Not so much. Yeah. It's just not good. But anyway, Justice League shows up without Superman, and they pose for a picture. <laughs> yep. Well, yep. literally, New York is being annihilated. People are being taken over. But they stop for a second. Yeah. So that we can get this moment. <laughs> They're not doing anything. <laughs> no. They're getting ready to face the onslaught. Oh, okay. That's well, already yeah. all around you them. You know what? Just, yeah. yeah, that they're be that they're neck deep. Where in did right they now. come from? Is really the question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, right? they're just yeah. there. They end up fighting all these like mini versions of Reaper that are coming down, and and they're trying to stop the people because apparently like things go on them, but then they start marching off, and they're like, yeah. okay, we're gonna stop these take people. Them off. No. Yeah, it does Batman not decides. work out. Like Batman yeah. tries, he's just like, okay, that's not. Yeah, gonna guy work. screams bloody murder. He's like, oh shit. Okay, well, sorry. Batman's out of ideas. Uh, who's got one? <laughs> yeah, I have another idea. It's called Call Superman. Right? They're like, yeah, but that's not going to work. Well, Superman's they... dead. No, but they know about the other oh, do Superman. They? they do. They're, uh, they're aware of him. But they don't trust him. Batman doesn't trust him. Batman doesn't trust him. And like, okay. since um, Wonder Woman was in a relationship with, with the new the old Superman, Superman yeah. like she's really weirded out by the whole thing. Yeah. But like, I think a couple other people are like, no, maybe we should just... Um, but, yeah. it, you know, one Superman is, is fine. Like we doesn't just, matter which one it we is. We right. trust him for him to come here and like and use heat like, vision and stuff. Yeah. I'm just saying. Like, yeah. This thing is gonna like destroy everything. So like, what do you have to lose? Right? Because Cyborg's yeah. like, my stuff's not doing anything. Yeah. And like Flash is like, I can only run so much. It's like, but right. aren't you There's so fast that you can run pat, like into time? Well, that's not what's happening. <laughs> so what they decide to do is since they can't stop the people, they have Cyborg open a bunch of boom tubes and they send them to Hackensack, New Jersey. Yes. Um, Thanks. <laughs> it was just like, what, what, is, what are these people? Yeah. yeah. What is this? <laughs> Presumably, they just turn right around and march into the river. Naturally. To get right? back to Oh, exactly. The exactly. Because they're I mindless. Like, yeah. I like that since a boom tube, it goes both ways. So I'm from like, hey, what's going on? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Never no, no, mind. No. Nope, nope. I'm yeah, good. The, I'm all good. these like creatures that fly through the boom tubes into Hackensack, and then they have a problem over there. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've created two major problems. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> nice job, but Cyborg. But clearly, DC didn't care about New Jersey, so they're no. like, well, I mean... Who cares? It's funny. Yeah. It's a joke. It's a joke. Get it? Like we, we dumped we, we dumped our garbage in New Jersey. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Also, I mean, the fact is that like that city has been used before in like the Superman movies. Yes, Hack and Sack. Mm -hmm. My mother um, lives in Hack and Sack. Yeah. So, so people know about it. They decide they have to go within the creature. Yes, uh, right. Because they can't get through the yeah. They can't get through the, the, the outside, so they're gonna go inside. So they do that. And in doing so, they find, like, just a cavernous disaster in there. So they don't know where they're going to go. And, like, Cyborg is like, they're like, hey, can you tell us where to go? And he's like, seriously, I've got, like, 12 boom tubes outside. There's only so much I can do, man. Like, well, how about you, Batman? Right. Batman's like, fair enough. <laughs> find the brain. That's Batman's idea. Yeah. It's like, thanks, Batman. Okay. Yeah. How? Well, look, I, look, I can't hold your hand every step of the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm Batman. Yeah. So f they send Flash ahead to, to scope out where to go. Meanwhile, the um, the two Green Lanterns we have, Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz, yes. are speeding off to go and assist. They're late. They yep. got called, but they're yep. dealing with something else. They were but, in China. Yeah. But now they're on their way. And and they're going to help out. And they're excited because like the League doesn't really call them. No. <laughs> no, because they call their Green Lantern. Right. But then Hal bails for a good long time. And uh, so these two are left. So in this charge. this league pretty much has a real trust issue with anyone who isn't the person they remember. Yes. Yep. They're just like, yeah, I don't think so. You're different. I'm not a fan. Well, they should call <laughs> Gypsy or Vixen. <laughs> or perhaps Vibe. They're like, you know what? We're fine. Vibe's dead, man. Where's the new 52 Vibe? <laughs> oh, right. They end up um, finding the brain, and that's about the time that Aquaman, who's been with them, and you know, doing been there the whole time. Doing, yeah, he's been stabbing things. I assume with, with his trident. trident yeah. yeah, and they they do ask They're like, maybe it's a fish thing. And I'm like, it's literally a bug. Yeah, it's yeah. clearly not a fish. They're like, can you talk with it? He's like, it's, can I talk? Can with I it? talk? That's ridiculous. He should have been like, that hurts. Yeah, it's really. Like, it's like you it... don't care if, like what I can do. Well, it could be like a horseshoe crab. Those things yeah, look you like talk bugs. To animals, right? It's like you guys don't know me at all. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Arthur Curry. But it does, <laughs> but it does hurt him. It, it ends up being able to communicate with him, I guess. Yeah. So I guess so, like his so, his indign his indignation is justified. Yeah, yeah. exactly. God but like it. it hurts him quite a bit, and like it's just it's it's not transmitting full thoughts. It's just random like pieces of of information. Yeah. Just just his name. Yeah. And like what kind of thing it is? Well, yeah. Well, no, it's his name and the fact that they're there to harvest humanity. It's, oh, it's, it's their time. time. Yeah, that's about the time that the, the spores then attack them inside. Yeah, he's got internal spores too. Because, well, I mean, like seriously, like I, that doesn't surprise me even remotely. You yeah. Know? Well, like, they come from inside it. So I guess yeah, that's true, like, yeah. So finally, the Green Lanterns show up. They attempt to stop the tendrils that are outside doing things, which is like kind of not a big deal. Yeah, really. like they're not really yeah. doing anything. The League haven't dealt think, with them at all. I think that was where they come out of. Right, then you think they? they'd be slamming into the... <laughs> yeah, you should see them, like, piling up against the end of the green... <laughs> I guess uh, they're like, yeah, hey, we got That'd be amazing! Yeah, it would be cool. And gross. Yeah. yeah. So then they, they realize that they can sense um, that the Justice League is inside of there. There's something inside, so they go in there. They're like, clearly it's the League. They show up. And um, it all, like, starts going to hell, but, like, they help out. But then all of a sudden we see, like, Superman is also there. And he, like, bursts through he just, the yeah. thing. He yep. shows like, up because, like, Lois like, is, like... like, around him as yeah. he's, like, flying just, just, through it. Oh, you guys can't penetrate its flesh? Really? <laughs> it's weird. Because I can't burn. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, Lois finally convinces Clark that he's, like... She's, like, listen, you know, you are, like... I totally get it. You're going to be a family guy. Like, you're going to be here for us. But, but... You can't keep the world safe for our son by right. not being Superman. Right, because right. there's a giant bug attack. Right, because like, we don't live in a, a normal world. And like yeah. he mentions that. He's like, do you think there are places where like this isn't real? Like, right. you know, like there yeah, are monsters This kind of crap stuff. doesn't happen. Like, we're yeah. Not in the yeah, DC yeah, universe, right? Superman. And it's just like, here's the thing. Like, you don't live there, so you're going to have to be Superman. Yeah. Yeah. Get over it. Right. Which, right. thank God, he does, because then we get really great Superman stories from that. Yes. So he shows up. And immediately kind of takes charge of the information or the, the whole situation. He's just like, "Here's what we're gonna do. We're all gonna shoot at once at his brain at, the, at, at these places that I've." Hit. I mean, yeah. he tells them to hit like to strike at yes. central points, but, but then he's like, "Okay, but now let's all do the big thing at the end of Power Rangers, where they all put their weapons together and fire at the monster." Exactly, yep. and yes, bat and Batman uses his battering. And They're all firing <laughs> huge bursts of energy. Even yes. Flash Which is like firing lightning. lightning. Can you do that? I, I mean, clearly. But well, it's really like I, mean, I don't care for you it. Yeah, Arthur Curry, he's, he's gonna throw his trident. Yeah, I'll throw it. my trident at. And I, Wonder Woman does have like Zeus's, Zeus's lightning, lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah, so she's using that, so that helps. Um, and essentially, they, they they damage it enough, and it recognizes that you know it's obviously not gonna win. It lets control of the folk outside. I'm guessing because it can't keep control of it any longer. Well, they are like punching its brain, right? And yeah. then like essentially, like it tells Arthur, he's just like, I'm not the only one. There's others that are gonna come here. Mm -hmm. And then, like, they're like, well, here's the thing. We're going to be here. And, like, we're just going to take you We'll down. all punch you in the brain. Yeah. <laughs> we'll all just go inside. And then it just floats away. Yeah. And they all pose for a picture. Yeah. No one takes. Clearly, they're still inside of it, though, it looks like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then, well, there's a time jump between oh, these two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then it, like, well, they, they all pose. And then the creature, like, opens its mouth and creates, like, a stepping stone <laughs> yeah, thing with its, its tongue. Yeah. And, they just, and then they all just march down, yeah. and, they, and the people cheer and throw their panties That would be stuff. amazing. That would be that great. Happened. And then the Justice League are like, bye, big scary monster. Exactly, exactly. So then, I presumably they have to go get all the people from Hackensack back. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, no, they can take the ferry. They're fine. <laughs> so then, essentially, like, they're like, well, we'll be ready for the next time, whatever. And Batman looks to Super and he goes, how about you? And he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna be around. Yeah, I might join. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> cool. He, right? And then, like, they compliment at least one of the Green Lanterns. Yes. And then that's it. And they're just like, yay, we didn't die. Yeah. That's, like, literally, like, what the news report is. Yep. And we didn't die again today, humanity. Yeah. yeah. Good Thanks, job. Thanks, Justice League. For so another like, nick of you've, time. You've saved our lives. Right? This barely is, one for more me, this time. is, like, a weird kickoff. It oh, is. it's a horrible step this forward is like, I'm like, for Justice League Rebirth. <laughs> Them be like, because Rebirth worked so well yeah. in every other regard except for when they asked the the artist to write something. Oh, is that what happened? Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, it is Brian Hitch. Yeah. Don't worry, Brian Hitch's run Wait, will also, continue to be as good it? as this. Yes. Oh, he did both. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, yes. So. Yeah. Okay. Justice League Rebirth. There it is. So there you have it. We have three very different Justice League very stories different. from very. very different times in our history. Yeah. But which one is the good? Which is the best issue from this? My vote is for the Justice League of America. 
That is also for my vote as well. What? <laughs> yeah. I I'm, do. I, I, I'm also going to give it to that. Wow. Wow. We swept it. Yeah. Like, and uh, well, I want to hear your justification because you're the most begrudging out of us. Well, I did not like this book. Let me just say. Right. Off the bat. <laughs> but it felt like a comic book. Yeah. It was like, this felt like a classic story and it progressed in a like, like sensible way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's character like development. Right. Like it's a lot of character interaction. Might be a little ham fisted. It's but, a little bit ham fisted. But it's developing. Like we get to see some real depth to Ivo. Yeah. Like the it's funny superficially to think about how it's like I built a therapy robot and yeah. then yeah. I rejected his therapy. But that's <laughs> that's kind of funny right. if you want to like make yeah. a joke about people in that situation and that's and that's what Dimitris wanted to do. And then you know he's also like I want to talk about like what it would be like to be a Hispanic superhero in the DC universe. Yeah. yeah. How frustrating that must be. Yeah. yeah. Um, it doesn't it's... help that w your first introduction to him is he's a complete dick. Yeah. But, but he, like, but that's... you know what? He also is like aware of it, but yeah. he's also like, yeah, I guess I would be too if I was constantly surrounded by a homogenized group of superheroes. Yeah. And like the only other skin color that I get to like, you know, that is not white is green. Right. I think it also didn't help, like that aside is that he clearly recognized that he didn't have his powers under control or know how to use them and he didn't yeah. feel very strong. Yeah. So I think that was making him lash out on top of it all. Cause That's he's true. just like, we're all failing, but I'm not helping. I don't know what else to do. So yeah. I'm let's get mad. mad. Yeah. But like, I also have a soft spot for Demetrius. Yes. Like I like a lot of his work. He wrote into Shambhala, uh, which is an amazing Doctor Strange story. Um, so like I going into this, I, I was like, all right, I'm gonna, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna try to separate myself from that. But like as silly, like you said, as it is, there's just a lot of depth, like overall, yeah. like he, he tells a story that's really competent. He fills it with like these little like things that you go back and be like, oh, okay. I see what, like you said, with Ivo and with Vibe and honestly with the whole team as a whole and yes. like with John where he's just like, I kind of failed these guys. I really shouldn't have put this team together, yeah. but like, it's not working. Yeah. He's making yeah. a commentary on the fact that the book is getting canceled <laughs> and that's yeah. kind of clever. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's very, um, it's very believable in the DC universe. Like, it makes sense that like these characters were just like, yeah, we got our asses kicked. We literally like, couldn't name one of the members of the team. That's how bad they <laughs> yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, and it's like I guess, and and the you know the the split is like heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. like even though I don't know them or care about yeah. their struggle, yeah, but I but believed like, it. Like I like yeah, that's that's, that's fair. how real people would react. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, like this is maybe like, a little bit exaggerated, but not too bad. But just right? amplified enough to be a comic book. Well, yeah. what's interesting yeah. about this book, honestly, is that like you always think of DC as like a pantheon. You know what I mean? Like, they're gods. Yeah. And, like, Batman is a man who walks amongst gods, essentially, right? But himself a god in a way. These people are just folk. Yeah. Yeah. Who happen to have some superpowers. Yeah. And the rest. Yeah. And it's like, but they have to live up to those that came before them, and it's, like, impossible. Yeah, it would be like if all the gods of Mount Olympus bailed, and then they put other people in charge. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, like what would you, what am I supposed like, to do? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You're in charge of everything. Yeah, you're everything in charge of the harvest. <laughs> What do I well, do? Well, how does that work? Well, people are going to be real hungry in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's the good. Which one's just bad? Because there's also the ugly that right. we have to consider. Um, I think that uh, if we're actually... Wait, no, you shouldn't go first. Oh, that's fair. Ethan, yeah. how about you? Yeah, Ethan, you tell me. What is bad? Uh, Well, they're all bad. <laughs> but the slightly less bad, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to go with Rebirth. Uh, Justice League. I'm with you on that one. Yeah, yeah. I also agree. It, it's more by default, though, than anything else. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> well, I think as, as much as I'm not a huge fan of the art, it is better than, than Extreme Justice. It's, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's it's better in basically every way than Extreme Justice. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, at the well, it's more engaging. It it's, is a yeah. little like for me, like the Superman part was very engaging, and mm -hmm. like you know, I was like, I was more interested to see how that was gonna like fill in later on, like how he was gonna gain their trust in a sense. Yeah, which he doesn't do anything of. He no, just shows up. But like this book, if you take it just at this book, that's what they're promising is that yes. we're going to see. That's true. This book promises you nothing, <laughs> and it delivers. <laughs> and it still delivers. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I I agree. I think I, I oh, oh, like by default it's bad. As a comic, I think it's bad. Yes, yeah. I think it's a I think it's a trite story in an age of 2016. Yeah, I think the art is not at Brian Hitch's level. Mm -hmm. I think the writing is subpar at best. Yeah, I, I think that like I don't even know who's talking half the time. Like all the all the dialogue yeah. is interchangeable with anyone yeah. else. Yep, the, it, it's the, very disposable. Utterly disposable in a, in an age where they where DC is trying to put its best foot forward and yeah. gain mm -hmm. its readers' trust back. Damn. Yeah. yeah. What a misstep. And they never out. quite get it back. 
No, really? Not for yeah. this book. Uh, this book is just too bad. Yeah. Maybe Bendis can mm. make it better. Oh. Yeah. And the ugly <laughs> Tiffany. Oh yeah, it's definitely extreme justice. This is just. This is a disaster. It is just like, it, it's just the 90s. It's just like a desperate plea <laughs> for someone to buy this yep. without any substance at all. Yep. No, like there's, yeah. it's not even yeah. like, if you can get past this, there's some elements that are fun. It's just, there's really I not. don't no. care about anything that's happening in this yep. book. No. And they start off with like the most cliche thing possible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. it's, it's almost like uh, The Rock. Yes. Yeah, and th then they introduce like, a, another villain? The, like there's yeah. multiple there's, villains? There's, there's three villains. One is defeated. The other one uh, is a shadow villain. And then yeah. there's another shadow villain. Yeah. It's unconnected to the other. Like or You can't even tell. No. Because it's just like, oh, they're, I, they have no idea that I'm going to get them. Like, who are you? I don't care. I don't yeah. care about the team you're going to get. Yeah. Like, feel free. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care about any of I this. I hope you do. Like, <laughs> defeat them. And real superheroes can show up. <laughs> the only good thing about this book was Booster Gold. Because he was funny. <laughs> Because <laughs> he just wants to go to Las Vegas. Yes. He finds out they're in Nevada. He's like, oh, so uh, is Las so Vegas doing well? You know what's we funny? Can... Like, I was like, I took that as like, does he have a gambling problem? <laughs> I mean, right? kind of. He's Booster Gold is a, is a complicated, fun character that when written properly, like all his superficiality and all the bullshit that he was associated with in the, in the 90s and in, in, in the 80s and everything, yeah. like, works. I could totally see it's that. Great. I totally could. For me, it also came down to, like, most of their voices, much like you said in this book. It, it, it's all the same. It's all, it's all yeah. very much the same. Like, yeah. it really, really was. Especially with these two, I know they both have, like, that They have similar, a history and a friendship. Yeah, yeah, exactly, but they both, like, it, I don't know. Like, they didn't develop their own voices in this. No, and Will, I don't know. He I didn't even do remember anything. when Will spoke. I don't even think he did anything. Yeah. He was the yeah. only one that didn't get colored all the way. I, I, the only thing I do like is I like uh, I like the Spider-Man images of Booster Gold. I think that was fun to see. It was just like, that hey! Was, that was so just like, it was, yeah, look, I don't care. Yeah, I like shameless. What I like what Farland's doing over yeah, there. I'm, and, I'm, yep. I'm doing that too now. It's an, ex it's an excuse for me to do that. Yep. Me to give it a try. Maybe Marvel will hire me and I can draw Spider-Man over there. They're like, no. Yeah. No. The, the worst part of this for me was, was probably, uh, there's a lot of terrible things, but the art was just... Unforgivable. It's Unforgivable. so not okay. It's like, there's so much like detail and crap everywhere, and it's so incomprehensible well, what's happening. This is like a, okay, you know how last time we had the show and we did the um, New Warriors? Yes. And mm -hmm. it was like, there's some like really 90s looking art in there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But like, they own it and they try to make it work. Yeah. This is just like a calamity. No, I think it, it's like the artist is trying to approximate someone else's style. Yes. And yeah. failing. They're yep. not doing that. Because that's job. the other thing is that in New Warriors, like, they were drawing to their their strength. Yep, so this like, is what I do. I draw teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, part of the problem, I think, is Captain Adam. Like, just oh, visually, he's just a mess. He is a mess. He's, he's also in like every page. Yeah. Well, because he's the coolest one to draw. He's the most. Like his suit is ridiculous drawn, and then there's fire around him all the time, which is ridiculous. It's just like, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> yeah. What no. is happening? I completely agree. I don't know, but everyone's always reacting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <gasps> 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 like, yeah. No. Like, could everybody like like sit down? They're reacting. They're posing. They're yeah. reacting. They're posing. They're screaming. Like, no. It's yeah. just no. unforgivable. Even when they're talking. Yeah. It's no wonder this show, this series did not work out. Oh. But uh, <laughs> thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Of course, give us some ideas for themes we can try next time. And, of course, check out Justice League. It comes out this weekend, That's and right. I know I will be. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode and maybe caught it as a result of looking for things that were Justice League related. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you have, go check out the rest of the show. It's a lot of fun. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. And I'm Tiffany. Thanks a lot for watching.